how rich he was, man, an Israelite, man, on the coast of West Africa, man. You see? And we, Africa was just what they call the middle passage. We didn't start there, and we damn sure wouldn't end up there, man. Right. We still got, a, of course, a whole bunch of our people that's still there, but that's not the promised land. Are you allowed to, our people going back to Ghana, man? What are you going back to Ghana for, man? What's in Ghana, man? Ghana's no longer the, um, the Gold Coast, right? They used to call Ghana, it was rich in gold and salt. Shit, the Esau done went in there and took all that out, man. When the, uh, when they took the slaves from there, man. Okay? They raped that land, man. That land don't got nothing left. And the land of Israel is polluted as well. Alright, what you got? Oh, yeah, we're going into John 3, 16. Oh, Lord, have mercy, man. We may have to that scripture might be retired in the kingdom because <laughs> everybody don't misuse that man, and you could thank Esau for that. Yeah, but no man can do these miracles that thou do except the Most High be with him. So Yahweh Shai and Nicodemus was having a conversation. Two men was having a conversation. Man. Okay, go ahead. Verse three. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. And it show you that you got to know Yahweh Shai. Because Nicodemus was a what? What did scripture say he was? Read verse 1. He was, was a what? a man of the Pharisees, uh -huh. named Nicodemus, uh -huh. the ruler of the Jews. He was a Pharisee, man. A doctor of the law. And Yahweh Shai told him, well, what? You got to be born again. Mm -hmm. And let's see if a doctor of the law understood what he was saying. Go ahead. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb? He's a he doctor born? of the law. You see? So you guys, your law is all about the law. You see? Nicodemus, and you guys ain't spiritual anyway. Because you guys are the same clowns as saying, Yahweh Shai did no miracles. Mm. Um, what's another thing? Oh, Paul was off. Right? Guys, always come with some weird doctrine, man. Oh, you don't got to worship Yahweh Shai. It's another thing, man. All right? Go ahead. Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. He's talking about the Word, okay? Which he was the Word in the flesh. As right. he said, the words I speak unto you, they are Spirit and they are life, man. The Word that's coming directly from the Father, man. All right? Salvation through his Son, okay? Go ahead. Right. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. Borrow not. So he ain't talking about being going back into your mother's womb that's that's being born of the flesh he's talking about being born of the spirit man mm. go ahead marvel not that i said unto thee ye must be born again the wind bloweth where it listeth and thou hearest the sound thereof but canest not tell then suck it but canest not tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth so is everyone that is born of the spirit mm, gotta be born of the spirit man right all right yeah, which means you can't contain the spirit, man. That means that the spirit is always constantly evolving, man. Okay? You know, like the elders always say, you got these Zeus who call it. They're the 9092 Israelites. They're still stuck in that, man. The spirit has grown from that time, man. Because you got dudes who say, oh, well, like, you know, the, you know, like Zabak, his brother Zabak. He'd be like, oh, well, the elders back then didn't teach no microchip. Brother, the spirit moved on since 9092, man. You know how much information has come out, man, from that time? Come on, man. Yeah, um, a lot of um, brothers probably used to think Cornelius was... Um, yeah, they said about back then the same thing. Yeah. Come on, the but spirit the spirit, the spirit grow. grow, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Like we just read, every man has their own talent a lot. The Most High reveals certain things to certain men. He didn't reveal all things to one person. There's a balance, man. Okay? Like he told Ezra, he said, look, I showed Daniel many things, but he didn't understand it. I'm going to give you a deeper understanding. You see what I'm saying? All right, go ahead. Yeah, Khan. Um, verse 9. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel and knowest not these things? So Yahweh Shah said, Hold on, aren't you? Aren't you a, a, a doctor of the law? You don't have no clue what I'm saying? Like, what's, what's, with, this, what's with this dude, man? Khan. You see? So you it's deeper than the law, man. That's right. Yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak, exactly, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I, Sakya, 
if I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Mm -hmm. And no man have ascended up to heaven, but he have come second. And no man have ascended up to, um, up to heaven, but he he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. And who did Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness to? When you read Numbers 21. To the Israelites, man. So they had to look up at the serpent in order to be healed. Because the Most High smit them with a plague. Right? Those fiery serpents had bitten them. So they had to look up at the serpent on the pole in order to be healed, man. Go ahead. Want me to get it? I the numbers? Yeah, you get numbers. I think it's 21. Tw yeah. Numbers 21 and verse... Eight. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. Matter of fact, read verse one. Who is it talking to? Oh, you can't. Um, Numbers 21 and 1. And when King Arad the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south, heard tell that Israel came by the way of the spies, then he fought against Israel and took some of them prisoners. Mm -hmm. And Israel vowed a vow unto the Lord and said, If thou wilt indeed deliver this people into my hand, then I will utterly destroy their cities. And the Lord hearkened. See, the most I always listen. And you know how rebellious that generation was, man? And it, the, when you read this, the Old Testament, that was a back and forth game. Mm -hmm. Israel would do folly. The Lord would send somebody to deliver them. They'll do folly again. The Lord would send somebody. Read the book of Judges. That was going back and forth. To the most I said, you know what? I'm done, man. I'm done with you guys, man. You know what I mean? I'm going to let the heathen totally do away. That's where the Babylonians and the Syrians came in. Keep reading, though. Okay. And delivered up the Canaanites, and they utterly destroyed them in their cities. And he called the name of the place Horma. And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to the compass and land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against the Mosai. So the Mosai just gave them a deliverance, and they started speaking out against him. And yeah. against Moses. Too. And against Moses. Go ahead. Wherefore have he brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? Nick, see, niggas don't want to go through that that hardship, man. They didn't want to go through the straight gate, man. All right, go ahead. Wherefore have he brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water. And our soul loathed this light bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Mm. Yeah. Therefore the people came to Moses and said We have sinned for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee Pray unto the Lord that he will take away the serpents from us And Moses prayed for the people And Yehobah Shemel Shah said unto Moses Make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten When he is looking upon it shall live and Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. And the children of Israel set forward and pitched into a bar. The children of Israel. So let's jump back to John, the third chapter, man. Right. Okay. John, uh, John 3 and 14. And Moses lifted up. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So who? For the Israelites to be healed, man. Read the scriptures, man. Go ahead. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Uh huh. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. So who did he, who, is, who did he come for? Let's read Matthew 121 and then we pretty much move on to something else, man. Okay, go on. Okay. Okay, we went through the actual history. Now, who was that talking about? Who got bit? Who got plagued? And how they got healed, the Israelites. So Yahweh Shah is saying the same thing. Right. You want to be healed when I get lifted up? crucified because who did he come for who does his blood cover it doesn't cover the whole world man that world is israel man all right and i show you how blessed we are man we're blessed man because our people are wicked as hell man okay our people are demons man and the most high you know we just have to be blessed that he chose us man because um Technically, the way our people act, we don't. Our people don't deserve mercy, man. Our people hate each other, man. Yeah. Right? They got a stone cold hatred, man, towards each other, man. And Jake has to pass the deeds of the wicked. The scripture tells you that. Okay. But the Most High still gonna have mercy. And when we were reading the scriptures, which the past couple of weeks we've been going into the history of the different kings and how evil they were, man. 
passing their kids through the fire, causing Israel to go off, um, worshiping other gods and deities, beating up the prophets, man, persecuting the people. Okay. See, Jake was just totally going off, man. But read on. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. There you go. So we answered that. We answered your John 3 16. Okay. Went through the actual history, and it was broken down. We could use other scriptures. We went to the actual source, and it's just the children of Israel, man. That's right. Okay. That's how you're healed, man. Okay? The word is for Israel, man. That's why King David said, um, 2 Samuel, the 7th chapter, I think verse 23. Hmm, Jake, Jake and A. Africa, man. You know what I mean? And, and Africa's a white man's surname. We, we went through this already, man. Africa's a colonial name. You said 2 Samuel 7th chapter? Yeah, let me hear 2 okay. Samuel 7 23. 2 Samuel 7 to 23. And what? Uh, I'm going to start at 22. Sorry, a little up. Wherefore thou art great, O Yahweh Bashim Yahushua power, for there is none like thee, neither is there any power beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation is. Asakia. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people? What one nation in the earth is like thy people? None. Dad, which proves you. This is the king of Israel, so you mention no other nation, man. And you know, you still got a dawn on you, man. When you see how Jake act, you be like, damn, there's no way we beat the Israelites, man. There's just no way, man. Our people is wicked, man. Yeah. They stiff necked rebellious. Like man. niggas actually rap about glorifying killing. That's why I did that video, man. Yeah, I seen that, yeah. Niggas actually oh, made a whole culture on killing each other, man. And celebrating their records, man. And degrading um our woman, man. Yeah, degrading um Eve, which Eve loved to be degraded. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because she's a weaker vessel. And these women they're just attracted to that dark energy, man. That's what the scripture tells us about don't give um these women liberty. The, the reason why the scripture gives you um, the manuscript, man. Okay? Because Satan works directly with him, man. To give drugs and teaching kids to, to be gangbangers and glorifying folly, man. And lewd behavior, man. To be rebels in society, man. Like the scripture calls you a wild bull in the net. That's Isaiah 51 and 20. Matter of fact, hold that, guys. Isaiah 51 and 20, since we talked about that. Before we jump to 2 Samuel 7. They got no order, man. And that's why the Most High said that Esau is his sword. The Most High used Esau to check niggas, man. All right? <laughs> Jail don't Jake don't understand that. He, that's the Heavenly Father's whipping stick, man. That's right. Okay? Jake don't get it, man. We telling you the answers, but you still don't get it, man. All right? When you, the Most High delivered us. We just read Numbers 21. He delivered us from the Canaanites. When you got rebellious, okay, and started talking shit, he plead played you, man. Huh. All right? So he could allow another nation to rule over you, man. It's just that simple. Matter of fact, we, matter of fact, we may read something. Did, did you get Isaiah 51 and 20 in here? Isaiah 51 and 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. Yeah, they're in all the street corners. All the street corners in the hood, man. All right, sagging. Mm -hmm. See, degenerate behavior, man. That's right. And we were doing these things too, but you know the Lord just had mercy, man. Con, con. And now you have actual wisdom, and you looking at it, you like that's fucking stupid, man. Con. All right. Yeah. Right. They lie like, at the head of all the streets huh? as a wild yeah. bull in a net. They like wild bulls in a net, man. They are full of the fury of the Lord. Full of the fury of the Lord. Man. Okay. The, the rebuke of thy power. Yeah, that's the most high's rebuke. He's made, he made us on the level of beasts. All right. Because the wise people don't carry themselves that way. A god fearing people don't act like that. Man. That's right. Okay. And we're supposed to be a light to the nations. Man. See, but that's the rebuke of the Lord. Man. See, he made he took us from being kings to being beasts, man. Yeah. See? 
Dad, so let's read 2 Samuel 7 again. 2 Samuel 7 and verse 23. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom the Mosiah went to redeem for a people to himself. He redeemed us to be a people unto himself. So that's not a light thing. Right. Okay. That's not a light thing. He brought us back. He brought us back again through the blood of the Mashiach because he cast us off. All right. And that's what the Bible calls the adoption. You mean adopted back into his favor or his good grace through Yahweh Shai, man. That's what we always stress Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, we, you know, we teach the law, but we don't stress the law. All right? And tell you it's all about the law because that's disrespectful to Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? The way we're being redeemed is through the blood of the Mashiach, man. Because we're reading right now, and we read the different scriptures in the Old Testament when Israel got the law. They never fully kept it, man. So the Most High, what? He redid the contract. Mm -hmm. And this time, he said, this time, I'm going to program you, man. You don't got to worry about nothing, man. Okay? So this time, none of you, you will ever go off ever again when I give you those new bodies, man. It's all about getting that glorified body. Okay? 100% perfect. 100%. Keep all the laws, that the commandments perfectly, man. We're not, we're not having a court every day. We're not going to think of, we're not going to tell a brother, hey, you're going off. No, we're not going to have to rebuke our brothers no more. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man. We're all going to be perfect. We're all going to be righteous, man. You're not going to be enticed by the serpent anymore. That's right. From the least to the greatest. Yep. You know there's going to be levels in the kingdom. There's going to be right. levels, man. You know? That's, 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 that's mercy right there. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. Both sides are really merciful. Man. Yeah. Both sides are merciful, man, because... Look at you. Yeah. With, with the amount of time, the amount of time we constantly went over as a nation, most I could just kill, kill everything, man. Just, just destroyed everything. He could have like, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? He is merciful, right? And and, and it gets deep too, because that's all that was predestinated to happen. You know what I'm saying? All that predestinated to happen, so he can send the only God's son, die for our sins, and um, we being adopted back. You know what I'm saying? Again, bent into that marriage. Then we're gonna be the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Perfectly all righteous. Man, that's beautiful. that's the perfect love story, man. That is. That's it what is. scripture says. For God so loved the world. Yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah. That's that. That's the love story, man. Right. All right. Israel returning back to the Father through Yahweh Shai, as the mediator and as the middleman. Okay. That does not belong to the entire world, man. Okay. You Edomites don't have that luxury, man. You just don't, man. Right, and Rothschilds with all the money that they got, they still can't do good, man. I'll show you everything is preordained, man. Because all the money and influence they got and the, the affluence that they do have, how come they don't try to do the right thing, man? Right, but they promote everything contrary to the book, man. Popping little kids and eating children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Rothschild probably did that this morning, man. Now, that's the only way they could communicate with demonic spirits. You have to do those things. Okay? That's the only thing. That, that's their sacrifices to these demons, man. But all that's going to come to naught real soon. Matter of fact, get, um... Where are you holding? Uh, 7 to 23. Yeah, so, um... I wonder if I should wait till the next set. Uh, I'll just keep going. Mm. There's a little more in that, too. Got him here? Um, even like Israel, whom the most side was to redeem a... For people to himself and to make him a name and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people which thou are demons to thee from Egypt from the nations and their powers. Mm. So the Most High redeemed us from Egypt by the hand of Moses and he's going to redeem us from America by the hand of Yahweh Shai and wherever we're scattered. That's why we're going to get that matter of fact. Jeremiah 16, 14. So, you know, this whole, we're going to go more into this George Floyd situation. And, you know, people got to stop thinking with their damn emotions, man. Start seeing the entire, they don't see the entire picture, man. They just reacted, man. You, they're not, they're not, strat you're not a good strategist, man, or tactician, man. Okay? Strong leaders don't get moved easily, man. Right? They understand sacrifice is going to be made, but they see the entire picture, man. Right? Stop being played so easily, man. Okay? Right. Go ahead. And the only way you can defeat this this devil, you gotta come back to Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. Deep power, man. 
way. That's the only way, man. Okay? Because you're going to have no, never ending protests. And the New World Order ain't going to be no more protesting, man. After they hit you with that microchip, it'll make you docile, level of beast. If you don't listen, they take your chip off, man. All right? Go ahead. John. Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 14. All the detention camps, man. Uh, yeah, totally. All right, go ahead. Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. There you go, North America. All right, the main deliverance is going to come from here and other parts of the world. Right? Any girl. But the, the, the scripture so says like, well, <laughs> the eyes of the Lord God are upon the what? The sinful kingdom. This, his eyes is mainly on his place. May he save the best for last. Like we said, you had all them protests worldwide last year. Now the best protests coming here, man. America's going to be on fire real soon, right. man. Right. I mean, that's what we doing this work, man. All right. Do the, seek the Lord while he may be found. Right. Okay. You gotta, you gotta set, uh, set the banner up now, man. You know, a lot of, a lot of Jakes out there had this knowledge, and you were playing games with it. You know what I mean? And you know, that's just on you, man. Are right, you supposed to make good use of your talents, man? All right, good. And from all the lands, whether he have driven them, so wherever they driven at, and the land of the north, he's gonna deliver us, man. And we, we're approaching this. Man. All anything we waiting for now. Is for Esau to say on a national level, microchip, the new currency. We just wait for him to announce it because it's already in his bills already, but he's not announcing it. All right, we know because we read and we study and we look up news reports and we bring it out, man. Give brothers and sisters a heads up through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yashah from the elders and apostles on down. That's what we do videos, uh, do videos in a week, my and prophesy. We're called the Watchmen for a reason. Uh, see. And that's that, and we told people that's the reason why they're giving out all this damn money, man, because mm -hmm. they're trying to do away with that system, man. Okay, this whole COVID nineteen thing was—it's a system they're setting up. It wasn't the disease; it's a system, man. All right, and the system is what—that digital dollar, aka the chip, and to have everything on um uh, a, di a digital certificate for everything, man. No more paper currency, okay. man. Cashless society. A total cashless society, man. That's what they're setting up. That's that's in the works. Okay? That's what they were developing behind the scenes. Where everybody's getting caught up on this whole bullshit, man. Okay? This was, like they said, this was a planned demic. Okay? <laughs> like people saying, the deep state. Mm -hmm. Right? You damn niggas out there with Chuck Wow. Jake is bugged out, man. Because you have a lot of Jake who do know some of these things, but they think, you know, um, Trump is a good guy, man. What are you niggas? Like, what's up with you guys, man? You don't get it, man. Okay? You don't you you, you don't even get it, man. Okay? Ain't no good guys, man. Ain't no, ain't no good Edomite, man. Okay? The most side just got the enemy attacking the enemy. That's, That's it. it. That's it. All right. Satan's divided against himself. He's just divided it. against himself, I man. Understand, man. That's it, man. Okay. What did Trump say to you? Well, take, he, he quoted a quote from um, the May in the 1960s and said, um, when the looting start, the shooting starts. Yeah, yeah. And then they asked him, yo, you know this guy was a racist who said that statement in the 1960s. He was, in trying to, he was trying to incite a race one. He had racist policies toward Negroes. He's like, well, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know what I like. Nigga, what are you talking about? How are you going to use something you know nothing about? You a president, man? This is uh, the great white hope. Huh? He's going to make America great again? Most like, More than likely, he probably didn't know. He don't care. Come on, man. Trump, you know Trump racist, man. Yeah. Trump don't care about you Negroes. He don't, Latinos, man. Latinos, Native Americans. And you had that chick, Candace Owens, which the most I got special judgment for her, man. That's a super auntie mama, man. That's a super cool. That's a female version of this guy, Stefan, man. Okay? And she literally married some uh, Edomite, man. Alright? That woman is satanic as all hell, man. Okay? And you got all these celebrities, what she gonna get on that? Speaking out against this guy. None of these, these celebrities don't give a shit about none of you niggas, man. 
Alright? They're all pawns in the game, man. And what it is, nothing else is happening right now, so they're trying to make themselves relevant. Like, they care so much. Like, you had Oprah, she made a statement on it. You know what I mean? That's one of the top, uh, uh, one of the top witches in Hollywood. She cares so much about, uh, George Floyd being killed, man. Come on, man. All right? We don't, we don't fall for shit like that, man. The Rock, his satanic ass, he has something to say. Okay? Which is, it's, um, um, who else says something? Jennifer Lopez, man. Come on, man. Cardi B. Cardi B, man. These niggas is pawns, man. Okay? These niggas, they, they, they devour human flesh, man. Okay? That's why adrenochrome is such a popular thing amongst the elite, man. They get the child scared to a certain degree. And at that very moment, they kill him and they drink their blood. That's what they do, man. They believe that's how they keep their age. So to keep, to, um, Jennifer, there's reports on her doing that, man. Drinking young girls' blood. And by the way, she acts, she's never, she's never grew up. She still act like she's 20 years old, man. Like, you saw that Super Bowl performance? With her. Yeah. She act like she's still 20 years old, man. Chick about 51, 52, still acting like a damn slut, man. And you married on top of that? You see? That's why you shouldn't be following these niggas, man. Alright? Uh, all these celebrities are gone backwards. They gone they're backwards, gonna, man. All them worship Satan. Satan. I mean, that's what they glorify. Right? right? They, they, none of them is doing the work, man. None of them is praising y'all about shot. None of them is, you know, um, trying to encourage, enlighten, and uplift, and edify the people. No. It's all about degrading. Um, um, keep you in a thousand miles state. You know, they want you to stay slaves, but they want to stay rich. Yeah, right? that's the only way. They know Hollywood is a, just a big wand, man. It's witchcraft. Yeah. They all Luciferians, man. Yeah. They all worship Baphomet. That's lucky. I did. I did a little research on that that word Hollywood too. Yeah. Back in ancient world, yeah. witches would get wood from a holly tree yeah. to cast their spells. Cast their spells. Yeah. So that's all. That's what got hollows witchcraft. wood. Yeah. Yeah. Hollows wood. Yeah. That's all, that's all it is, man. That's what Hollywood is, man. So ain't none of them niggas care about nothing, man. Give me a break, man. All right? That's what Yahweh Shai said it best. What shall a man profit that he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? All them, you talking, those are soulless individuals. So they don't have sympathy for anybody, man. Their soul is already gone, man. I got a nigga who, um, get his family member or his close friend put to death. Somebody close to him don't feel sympathetic for some strange guy on the street. Come on, man, stop it. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? The people, these niggas are wicked, man. Beyond wicked, man. All right? So, nah, yeah, like we said, we ain't for that, man. Can you see All right? Me All right? All you niggas gonna get put to death, man. Come on. Pain All right? Painfully, man. Deaths, man. Yeah, you, you joined you join with the oppressor. And, matter of fact, it tells you that in Isaiah 13. 13? Or 14? On. Isaiah 13. In verse 13, therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. Yeah, that's the missiles right there. Mm -hmm. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chase road and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Yeah, that's going to the race war. Mm -hmm. They shall every man turn to his own people. That's coming, man. That's, that's here right now. See, people thought it was just going to be this COVID-19 thing, man. The most side threw another card in there, man. All right? Good. And flee everyone into his own land. Yeah, a lot of people want you, but you can't right now. Because the United States is still sealed off. Even from Canada, the borders are closed. All right? You can only do national travel right now, man. Domestic travel. International travel is still, is still closed off. See? Good. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone that's found, so you join to them, you're gonna go down with them, man. That's right. That's how I was, um, I think it's, um, the most I said. It's a little more than that, too. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Yeah, everyone that's joined unto them shall fall by the sword, man. That's right. All right. God. Let me, there's one in, um, Isaiah 31. Read verse 3. 
Khan. Isaiah 31 and 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. And their horse is flesh and not spirit. And with Jamad and they Pharaohs who? These, Edom, these Edomites. Khan, Khan, right. All right. They're in a power seat. Go ahead. When Yahweh by Shem Shah shall stretch out his hands, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down, and they all shall fall, fail together. They all shall fall together. Man. So the ones of our people made it in this world, like the Lord said, Luke 6, 24. All right. You all going to fall together, man. All right. 